one owner car, 23,000 miles, smell it. Look at that, tell me that doesn't look insane. That's, That's like cute. super wet. I arrived in upstate New York at an abandoned furniture store to find my dream M5 covered in dust and fallen sheetrock over the years to meet up with my buddy, Matt Ivanhoe from The Cultivated Collector. Look at that sign. Looks like we found it. Oh, wow. What's going on? Great to see you, man. Good seeing you. How you been, dude? Long time no see. Absolutely, so, absolutely. What? Where did you find this? Friend's father bought the car brand new, loved it, drove it, got something else, stuck it in his warehouse. Can you just do me a favor, open the door? I mean, first off, like, let's take a moment. I mean, you've worked on these cars. Uh, yeah. you, you knew these cars when they were new. Smell it. Do you smell it? You've ever smelled an E39 M5 when it was new? That's it. Yeah. That's the that's the smell. Many smell. BBS LMs, when they came out, these were, you know, these were it. Being a connoisseur, he understood the importance of originality. He understood the importance of preservation and kept all of the original stuff. So th these are original wheels, original finishes, original tires, the original Michelin Pilot Sports. He, this is the original suspension because he put Bilston PSS-9s on it. And he also upgraded to the 2003 headlamps. I, mean, I don't need to tell you, I mean, this is why you're here. This is all going to come out like brand new. This Perfect. is gonna look amazing. With the M5 locked and loaded on the trailer, our first stop was at Speed Sport Tuning for a full engine, tranny, power steering, and cooling flush, along with an inspection to ensure everything was in perfect driving condition before heading across town to the ammo studio. Oh, sounds good. Oh, feel that shift there? This is... This is gonna be a hard one to let go. Once inside and under the lights, this beast is covered in dust, dirt, and spider webs over the years, but it's also probably protected the paint underneath it. On the roof, you can see right here, sheetrock was sprinkled everywhere from the ceiling breaking apart over time, and what looks like watermarks on the passenger side door, so we do have our work cut out for us. The first step, of course, is to power wash it to see what's under all the dust. With the car now clean and up on the lift, I removed the aftermarket wheels to get easier access to the suspension and undercarriage to remove the grease and grime, and of course, the spider webs I found everywhere. To do this, I used Ammo Plum wheel cleaner, a wheel brush, and my mini woolly to get into the tight areas.
With the paint and undercarriage now clean and dry, I focused on restoring the interior back to its original factory condition by removing the surface dust, the light mold, and the hand and foot smudges with ammo lather and an interior brush. Even the ashtray is perfect. For the carpets, I'm using Ammo Shag Fabric Cleaner and a Red Stiff Bristle Brush to encourage the cleaner to penetrate deep into the fibers before using an air diffuser to blow the lifted dirt up to the surface. On the grease or oil stains that are commonly found on floor mats from walking in the engine oil drips on your garage floor, I'm using Titan Degreaser with a pH level of 12 in just those specific areas to lift the oil and then power brush the rest of the carpet in Ammo Shag. Then I steam vac until everything was perfect. With the floor mats and interior carpets freshly steam vacked and looking brand new, I now focused on polishing the paint with my six inch sheer wool pad and polishing fluid to remove the minor swirls and love marks. Then I followed up with my white waffle foam pad and polishing fluid once again for a huge 50-50. Okay, so I've done about half the car at this point in the process. And what's really cool about BMWs in this era, this is about medium paint. What I mean by that is Mercedes has really hard paint where Japanese cars will have really soft paint. This one, super like right in the middle, it just acts perfectly. It's, it's just great for detailing. Now on the flip side, it's a little bit of a joke. When you have razor flat paint like this, perfectly black, when you get the tiniest little nick in it, the downside is you're gonna see it because it's like looking into an actual mirror. The upside is you're driving a mirror every day. So we're gonna finish polishing this and then put a coating on it. It's gonna look fantastic. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look insane. That's like super wet. With the paint now shockingly glossy, we do need to protect it. But before we can do that, we have to wipe it down with a 50-50 ISO wipe to make sure that we remove any remaining polish or anything that could be on the paint that will interfere with Reflex Pro. Next, I applied a thick layer of Reflex Pro, waited for it to rainbow about a minute or two, and then gently buff clean. And when we were done, <laughs> just completely insane. With Reflex Pro now curing, I applied Frame Pro to the black textured plastic trim that had begun to fade over the past 10 years. Now the before and after, once again, was huge, but this step combined with the paint preservation brought the car back to showroom level in just a few hours. Next, I polished the exhaust tips by hand with my polishing fluid, then coated the metal with Gelé Pro wheel and metal coating to make them easier to clean in the future. Now, because the M5 had the stock wheels with it in the warehouse, I decided to put the classic factory 18s back on the car. But first, the dust, the dirt, and of course, the spider webs needed to go before applying Gelé Pro coating to the many spokes for a fresh, brand new finish.
Before installing the wheels, I applied mud dressing to the wheel wells for a bit of black contrast before rejuvenating the rubber sidewalls. Lastly, I cleaned the foggy glass with Obey, scrub pad, and a squeegee, which is always the most challenging part of any detail, including this one. Perfect glass is just not an easy task, but with the scrubber and the squeegee, it can really speed up the process for sure. Then I applied Ammo Moose leather conditioner to the very parched seats and they soaked it right up. The suppleness came back and they looked fantastic. The interior literally looks as if it came directly off the showroom floor. It's just insane how much of a time capsule this car really is. There he is. What's going on, Good dude? Good to see you, man. How you been? Come in and check her out. Whoa, oh, okay. All right. Wow. Crazy, right? Wow. All right. You it can is... literally, you can like do your hair and yeah, see, uh, I think, shave I think, Yeah, I think I missed a spot shaving <laughs> this morning. Uh, yeah. I put the originals back on because, I mean, come on. It's the yeah. original wheels. Yeah, they yeah, look yeah. absolutely fantastic. I re-dyed the trim, but I think most important, I wanted to clean the interior and you know, just kind of spruce it up, but at the same time, not remove that original smell, right? Of you course. have that emotion when you get Hold in the car. I, I just need to, I need to have a moment. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah. Does that yeah. bring you no, back to? Well, and, that, and that's, that's the whole reason that you get a car like this is because, you know, you, you get a 20, one owner 23,000 mile car like this because you sit in it and you are instantly transported back in time. Uh, that's what this is all about. This is so, super fun, the detail, because this is of that. Awesome. It's my favorite car yeah. ever. Big question is, I know you're trying to sell it, but like, what's the ultimate plans? So the ultimate plan, I mean, it's currently, uh, it's currently on my website, thecultivatedcollector.com, as a placeholder, because ultimately we're going to be auctioning this on Cars and Bids, uh, Doug DeMiro's car of auction course, website. Yep. The winner of this car, they're not just getting a uh, one owner 23,000 mile M5. They're also getting all of the original components and yep. the, the fantastic aftermarket stuff that comes with this car. So they're getting these killer BBS LMs, factory suspension, the original headlights, because this car obviously has the, you know, the, the factory European market LCI headlamps right. that are in it right now. So if someone wants it to be, you know, bone stock, they can have it that way. If they want it to be like total enthusiast, just dialed in right spec, they can have that too. It's a killer car and you, I mean, to see where it started and where it is now is, uh, is amazing. You, you, you killed it, man. Well, it's I appreciate fantastic. it. I've been detailing this for a week, but I've been dying to do one thing and that is go for a drive. You cool with that? Let's do it. Yeah, man. If you like this video, check out what caused corrosion on my Audi R8. You're gonna love that one. And the four week long detail and repair to create the shiniest car ever. As always, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. See you next week.